Tonight, people in Dallas got their chance to take their concerns straight to DART. The transit agency sharing some new details about their newest rail line to a skeptical crowd. Look at your screen. When complete, the silver line that we highlight here is going to be taking riders between Collin County and DFW Airport. But as Alexis Wainwright is going to show you, some worry that it will make a lot of people less safe. It's madness. You have this is a residential neighborhood. So we were lied to. We thought they were going to be the smaller dart trains, but I understand now they're going to be the big ones like they have for the TRE Express. They're going to be rumbling through our neighborhoods. I'm going to hear it if they're blowing the whistles in the middle of the night. Many of the people attending the project meetings say they're here to voice their concerns. And I'm scared that people are going to get killed. The main concern is safety. And there's some things that DART had promised that seems like they're not going to be able to live up to or they're choosing not to uh, adhere to. And that's a big concern for us. Since construction began last month, the project has Hillcrest Road down to one lane in each direction. And at times it's shut down completely. There's also concerns because this construction is near a police and fire station. When you've got DART trains coming through, you could have a 35 to 45 second delay, uh, and if it's my life, I would like to have it come faster. Dallas City Council member Kara Mendelson has been critical of this project with CBS 11. She says she's not happy with the level of communication DART has had with the community. Sadly, I'm not hopeful. Um, my role, I think, has switched from advocate to trying to enforce the existing um, agreements that are in place and letting affected homeowners know that they should probably get an attorney. DART spokesperson Gordon Shadow says they've been making sure everyone has access to all the updates on this project and that they hear everyone's concerns. Uh, we have a very large safety program involved in both the schools, but also working very closely with the Dallas Fire Department, the Dallas Police Department, uh, local residents to make sure that anything we do as construction moves forward, it mitigates those concerns for them. But the people we spoke with say they understand adding transportation. They just want transparency. Like, tell us what you're doing. Don't tell us that it's going to be something in 2018 and now it's 2022 and you've changed the ball game. This is a part of a monthly meeting series for people who want to know the latest on this project. Tonight, DART only answered questions that were related to their agenda. Any other questions will be answered at the next meeting or via email. In Dallas, Alexis Wainwright, CBS 11 News.